when you're cruising this coastline along the Kimberley, one of the things that you'll notice, there's a lot of waterfalls and a lot of water coming up out of the escarpment or coming down out of the escarpment and dropping literally into the ocean. And there's one here which has just got a trickle to it. So it's obviously run out of puff because of the wet season's pretty much over now and it'll start to dry up. So we're going to scarper up this rock here and see if we can uh, get a bit of a fresh water swim. Bit of a dip, bit of a clean off. Shirts are getting a bit dirty. That's the remarkable thing about the Kimberley. There's fresh water everywhere, yet it looks like a barren wasteland. Don't you dirty up my pond, mate? The beauty of a place like this, it's, it's not just about having a swim in this water. And this water's passed through million year old rocks. It's not just about cleaning the dirt off your skin. It's about washing away the the bad energy and did you f it? Did you f it? No! Oh, Jesus. You can't trust anyone in these water holes. That water temperature out there, the ocean's about 30 degrees, but in here it's about, would be about 25 degrees. Now, the water here, the reason why the water's here is because during the wet season, all this rain that falls on this mountain top here, or this ridge line, it sits in the top of the ridge and it starts to follow all the cracks in, in, the, in the rock lines and follows it all the way down and it'll feed it right into this point. And then during the dry season, It'll, well, in the wet season it'll flow and then during the dry season it'll start to slow down and slow down as it runs out of water and it just comes down to a little trickle. But it's absolutely magical place and the only way to get here is by boat. Oh, clean already. You're looking clean now, mate. <laughs>